between evil? Or do you, or does God, uh, by giving us the, the prophets, the holy books, and so on, does he enable us to overcome evil? Are we the, victor, are we the ones who are victorious over evil? Or is God, and then God gives us the victory. I mean, let's, could we, could we just, you know, talk about that a minute? Because it seems to me, then we become very close to what Christians believe is actually happening in the very life and the death and resurrection of Jesus uh, the Christ. Thank you. I think we'll be finishing in about three minutes. So we'll have to. No, you know, I am very brief. Two points. One. Uh, what you stated, which is very touching and nice, talk about uh, seeing God in action through the person of Christ. Again, in the allegorical sense, I have no difficulty with that, except that it applies to all prophets. Exactly every prophet, really, in allegorical sense, not incarnational sense, is God in action, helping people and overcoming evil. So I have no difficulty with that, but it applies to all prophets. The second observation is... Uh, how do we overcome sin? Well, there is a beautiful ayah in the Quran. Anyone who has faith in Allah, Allah will guide his heart. So yes, we can do it alone, but we have to show that faith, we have to show that iman, and then God will guide us, guide our hearts. Doctor, so it is man then that finally has the victory over, over evil? Well, it, it, again, it's a matter of uh, terminology, and what do we mean by that terminology? Because on one sense, you can also say that in Islamic theology, everything is by the will of God. All power is in the hand of God. So in, on one level, you could say, all right, it is God who overcame evil through your iman, through your effort. So in one sense, it's God who is doing it. In another sense, also, you're taking some steps to do that. So it depends what level of analysis we're looking at. Okay. It's let no us, difficult let at us, all of uh, Interaction. Let's finish, please. Uh, we we want to finish, so we never end. So, so you forgive me. We'll have to finish. We'll make, a, we'll take a comment from here, a comment from here, and we'll conclude, okay? So go ahead, uh, Dr. Jeffrey. Oh, uh, <laughs> You forgot we moved to Shakir, if you forgot. No, uh, I just would like to say that the standpoint of the Quran is, is, it comes down to, and this will be taken up later, why are we here in the first place? Why does God create an environment which has uh, pain and suffering and sin and evil in the first place. I'm not going to answer the question today, but I'm just pointing to the fact that this is what we'll be taking up in Sunday. The real question that atheists have, as we go ahead debating back and forth here about things, is why does God create an environment where there is evil and suffering and terrible tragedy in the first place? And if he, you know, when I was a Christian and they told me that Jesus, through his death, we conquered sin and pain and suffering, well, I looked around me, and man is still evil. There's plenty of suffering. There's still plenty of pain. If he conquered it, why is it still here? So, you know, these are the questions I think we'll be taking up in the next few days. But this is a central question. Why do we, is, do we live in a world where there is such, such suffering? Why does God put us in an in a, a environment where we can uh, uh, go astray, where we do have choices? These are the key questions I think we have to ask in the next couple of days. Thank right. you. Right, just to sort of tie this together and lead on, as you have mentioned, uh, obviously sin, pain, and suffering are going to come where there is free will, and we will be dealing with that uh, in the uh, future. Uh, what we see here, though, I think we've seen a couple of things tonight. Uh, one of them is that uh, there is a very strong emphasis on relationship in the Christian message, that God wants to be related to us. And uh, hence, there is the desire not only to reveal uh, his will, but to reveal, uh, in a sense, his character so that we can become related to him. This is a very strong uh, Christian emphasis. And then, then as far as the love of God comes, uh, God is called the Wudu, the loving one in Islam. Both of us believe that there is a God of love. But this emphasis on relationship gives a biblical understanding that God is going, that God has reached to us while we are still in our sinful state. Uh, and died for us when we were still in our sinful state, rather than uh, what we've seen as the emphasis of God loves those who love him and are righteous and does not love those who don't love him and are not righteous. Well, this I, 
It's this breaking through uh, that is a very strong uh, biblical emphasis. Well, I thank you all for your Wait, let Dr. Tom, by the way, have the time. Just one quick point. Uh, please, you know how finish, I am. We ten, have to 15 finish. seconds. <laughs> we have to one, finish, sorry. One is the, uh, I can't still see uh, in what sense there is more uh, emphasis in Christianity on relationship of the character of God. Like I mentioned before, we can see that in the character of the prophets, there is a hadith that say, to try to emulate. Of course, not the exclusive divine attribute of God, but the other thing like kindness, like mercy, like compassion. So I don't see that difference at all. Secondly, the question of God reaching to us while we are in our sins, this is also our understanding. After all, prophets are not coming to good people, they're coming to sinners. Just like Jesus said, you know, if a person is, uh, is healthy, he doesn't need a doctor. It's the, the sin, sin for who need. So the reaching out is there. So again, I feel that in many points, including the last two points made by Dr. Woodbury, uh, I'm very glad that we met together to dialogue because sometimes we may have uh, an imagination of artificial difference, which is not there, uh, which is developed by th some theologians somehow to show that one is different. Yes, there are differences, but not in some of these areas that we discussed tonight, especially insofar as the question of love and relationship is concerned. Well, I really thank you all, and uh, I hope I'll see you all uh, tomorrow morning. And we promise we're not going to be going according to the schedule starting.